Hey guys, John here. Today we're going to be making a very ancient sound called a dial tone. Come to think of it, I don't really even remember the last time I actually heard that sound besides from this synth here. Anyway, it's actually very simple to make, so this video is going to be nice, short, and sweet. So let's go to a new preset, and we're going to be using two engines. The first one, Wavetable. The second one, also Wavetable. So let's go, whoops, <laughs> I picked harmonic. Let's go over here and turn on Wavetable. Let's turn this off for now. So the first one, what we need to do is on the wavetable volume, let's turn this all the way down. And in the modulator, turn this all the way up and where it says rat for ratio, let's go over here to Hertz and we need to tune this one into 350 Hertz. So let's right click once we get here. So we have our first tone is gonna be that one. Now for the second wavetable, let's turn this on and kind of do the exact same thing by turning the wavetable volume all the way down, selecting rat again and going to Hertz and bringing the volume up all the way. And the difference for this one is not 350, but it is 440, so an A right over here. And once we have both of these mixed in, <laughs> we get a dial tone. It's actually pretty interesting and it might be kind of a cool effect to add in a so song or something like that. You can just make a dial tone or you can even add some further effects. So just by exploration, let's see if we can make this kind of cooler. So let's maybe we have a dial tone. So maybe we can actually do an interesting type of EQ or something like that. Or you know what? Let's, just, let's actually do some filtering for that. So they bring it here and then maybe go for the multi multi mode. Actually, you know what? Let's go for a high pass 12. Kind of round off the bottom there a little bit. And let's go to the effects here and maybe a little bit of distortion might be kind of interesting. It actually sounds a little bit more realistic with a little bit of distortion there. Yeah, maybe the uh, soft clip is probably the best. And you can add some reverb. Kind of weird hearing that with reverb but anyway yeah that's the basically simple concept uh i'm probably not going to put this patch up to download because it's very simple to make so just remember two sine waves one at 350 and the other one at 440 and then really do some filtering if you want to maybe some distortion might be kind of cool but yeah it's a useful effect if you kind of want to do i don't know simulate a dial tone or a phone Beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, beep, beep. You know, you know what I'm talking about. But anyway, um, in the video description below, I have put all the combinations for the different buttons because it's actually kind of interesting. So for example, this one is two sine waves, 350, 440. And if you want to make the sound of a one, it's going to be 697 hertz for the first sine wave. And the second one is, or for the second sine wave, is going to be 1,209 hertz. And it's basically a table. Like I said, I'm going to put all the information in the video description below. So if you want to dial <laughs> dial those in, now oh, that's actually pretty funny. If you want to dial those in, you totally can. And I was kind of thinking in a certain way to kind of make a patch for pigments as far as all the dial tones, but it's actually a little bit more not really complicating but or complicated but it's more so how are you going to fit all those sounds in one synthesizer you can kind of do it by velocity layering which might be kind of cool something like that might be more of a job for falcon as far as like putting individual tones on individual keys because you have the dial tone and then you have all the way one through nine then you have star you have zero and then you have pound so like 9, 10, 11, 12, and then there's letters, which is 13, 14, 15, 16. So you have 16 sounds plus a dial tone, which is 17. So it's kind of, yeah, it's kind of weird to wrap your head around, but, or you could just sample them out and use it in a sampler that way. You could also do that too. But yeah, that's a dial tone and the touch tone sounds. Like I said, it's in the video description below if you want to cook up a cool recipe. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Hopefully you learned something and make some cool dial tones. You'll be surprised what you can make, actually, if you sample out the dial tone and put that back into pigments and do some crazy stuff with that. <laughs> Just think about the possibilities.